and welcome to this month's DIY project. It is midwinter here and I'm not going to lie, it has been raining so so much that both my allotment and garden are like mud baths at the moment. So this project is going to be perfect for somewhere for you to put your wellies. So I'm going to be making a welly rack and a tool to take your wellies off too. So I have this lovely bit of oak here. Uh, this was from a project that I did indoors. So I'm going to use this, but you really need something nice, strong, chunky uh, and heavy that's going to be weighted down when your wellies are on there. So first of all, I'm going to go through all of the materials and the tools that you're going to need. So what have we got here? So first up, you're going to need some wood glue. Uh, any old wood glue will do. You might need a hammer, uh, a square here. Tape measure is a must. We are going to use this, which is a countersink bit. Um, so basically that is going to be for when we drill our holes for our screws, they're going to sit flush with the bottom of the welly rack. We have some standard screws here. This is very important. So this is the type of drill bit that drills holes. Now we need this because of our dowel here, which is what we're gonna be using for our welly rack. It's 25 mil and that's 25 mil. So whatever dowel size you get, make sure you get the same size drill bit to go with it. We have also got a sander. We have our jigsaw here. We've got our drill, we've got our impact driver. And then as I said, we've got our dowel here lovely bit of wood here and then my favorite tool to use as you all know it is the mitre saw so yes they are all you're going to need for these projects today first things first for this project i'm going to cut the dowel to size so the size depends on what sort of wellies you have if you've got a mixture of wellies you want to go for sort of the deepest depth of welling so these are the wellies that i'm going to be using you can see they are completely caked in mud so i'm just going to get a tape measure and go from the bottom there so that's probably around 25 centimeters so we want to make our dowels longer than that so i think i'm going to go for around 40 centimeters and that is going to give a little bit of room for our dowels to go into the block of wood now my mitre saw is still set up for um the last project that i did so i need to set it back to zero so I've got my dowel here, I'm just going to mark on it 40 centimetre sections. Um, you can obviously do this with a skill saw, with a hand saw, anything you've got. Um, but the thing about a mitre saw is going to give you that lovely clean square edge, which is what we're going to need to go into that block of wood. So yeah, I'll just do this now. Now, as always, when we are working with our mitre saw, we always take off a little chunk on the end um, just to make sure the wood is all square for you to start working. And I'm just need my bubbles. off that point there and know that everything's going to be square. So at home I pre-finished this, um, I gave it a really good sand down, uh, took all the corners off and cut it to size. So I've just used whatever wood I had. I didn't make it a particular size, so don't worry about any measurements. The only thing you want to do really is make sure that your poles are gonna be central to each other. So I am going to grab my tape measure. So I've got my tape measure and I'm just gonna measure it in from the ends. So I'm gonna do about 70 mil in from the ends. And getting on that side. And then I'm just going to grab my square and go to that point and mark the piece of wood. Okay, so I have two straight lines here now. And I am going to measure in 50 mil from each side. So where these lines cross, they are going to be my points for where the dowels are going in. So you basically, you just want to leave enough room so then you can get two pairs of wellies on here 
and they are going to be far enough apart for the width of your wellies. But now we have our wood all marked up. I am going to take a pilot drill. So this is just a small four mil drill bit. Um, and I'm just going to mark each of those points that I've done, which will give this tip uh, something to go into. So it's going to make it a lot easier for you. So you just want to make sure you get this nice and central and straight as well. Right, I'm just going to change over the bit. Now this is a really hard piece of oak that I've got here, um, but these tools go through it like it's butter. So I'm going to pop up that in. Now the trick with this is you want to go in as straight as possible because we don't want our dowels on the wonk. So just try to keep it as level as possible. Right, and let's see whether this has worked. So, we've just got our dowel there and that fits perfectly. So, I'm going to do the other four now. So, there we have it. There are our four holes drilled. You want to go down the same depth every time. So you can do this by marking on your drill bits. So you can get a piece of masking tape to go over the drill bit and that will tell you how far down you are going with it. So they are all even. They're all drilled to the right depths. This fits in here nicely. Ideally, it could be a little bit tighter. Um, but that's not going to be an issue because what we're going to do is we're going to screw this into the base um, and then we are going to fill it with glue. So I am now going to change back over to my drill bit. So I'm just going to take this off the edge of the bench here and then I'm going to screw through our centre points. So this has made a little point in the middle of the wood you can see here so I'm just going to go through and that's going to be our pilot hole for the screw right so that is done there turned it over we can see our four holes here so I'm going to change this again for our counter sink bit so this is just going to create a little hollow for our screw to sit in So there you can see our four holes now have a sunken area and that is then our screws can slot in there and be flush and it's not going to rock on them when it's on the floor. So that is the hard part done. Now all we need to do is get our dowels in. So with this we are going to need some glue. So as I said this is just standard wood glue and we are basically going to fill the hole with a decent amount of glue. We don't want anything coming apart. So you just want it all the way around the edges. Okay, so I have glued up all four corners. And now you need to take your dowels. So if your holes are slightly tight, you can use a hammer or a mallet to tap these in. So now I am just going to hang this over the edge so I can screw from the underside. So we need to make sure these are lovely and level and straight up in the air before we start screwing. So remember we've already made our pilot hole so you just want to stick your screw through that. So and just want to hold your pole in place. We'll repeat that for the other floor. And here it is. So that is pretty solid in there. Um, 
So we've got some glue around the bottom here that we're just going to wipe away. Um, and as I said, I did sand this whole block earlier, but I'm going to give it another once over, give these a once over, and I'm going to do that with my battery powered sander. So I am going to put this attachment on it. So that is going to trap all of the sort of sanding particles um, from our sand in and then what I'm going to do with them is I'm just going to push them into this glue line around here um, and that's going to mean that instead of seeing sort of a clear line you will it will just look like the standard wood that you've got here so yeah we shall sand that we shall paint it and it's going to look beautiful so now we are on our second project of the day we are getting through them very quickly uh, so this is going to need some lovely chunky wood again this was left over from my raised bed that I made. So this was made with scaffold boards and from that wood I've made one large raised bed, two small hexagon beds and now a welly jack. So it was perfect for using up materials this project. So this is what we're going to make our welly jack out of. This is going to be our upright piece. Now this already has a cup that we have um, angled on here and that's going to be perfect for our welly jack to go like that but that is too tall for our wedding jack so we're going to cut this down and all the dimensions are going to be up on the blog for you so we're going to need our jigsaw we're going to need both of our drills we have an off cut of uh, plastic here so this is from our guttering you could use um, anything from a bottle uh, just basically it needs to be the right width for getting your welly off as I said our wood already has a nice angle cut on it um, but if you need to do this it's really simple so all you need to do is you need to grab this lever or oh, this lever at the back here so you loosen that and then that tilts your saw over quite a degree um, and then you can cut an angle like that now that I've already got that angle I'm going to set it back to zero and then I have just measured 80 mil from this point here so the longest side we want to measure from and then we just need to line our wood up there and get a cut in and there it is so that is going to be the base of our welly jack nice and level it's touching the floor down here it's lovely and parallel here so then all we need to do is put some screws through here but first we need to cut our section for taking the welly off we have our lovely bit of scaffold board here so the measurement of this is 35 centimeters and what we're going to do is we're going to find the central point of this so that is 22 and a half 11.25 right so there is the center of our piece of wood so we're just going to put a piece of guttering pipe in the middle here and draw around to that one side there we are going to grab our square and we're just going to square it off from there So, we now have our space that we want to cut out here. Mark that up, and now we're just gonna grab the jigsaw. So the easiest thing for you to do is to clamp this to whatever table you are working on. And that stops this moving around. I'm just gonna go in with my jigsaw and cut this out. And there you can see it, that is perfect. The jigsaw's done a really good job of getting you through that thick wood. So there is your hole that you can put your foot into and get your wellies off with. So, we are almost there. I'm gonna take our upright post and then we want to balance this on here so it's all in the right position as before. Got this lovely joint here. 
this is touching the surface here so now what we need to do is take a pilot drill and go through the top here we're going to do three pilot holes and that is going to go directly down into this piece here we have our trusty pilot drill back with the four mil pilot hole and we are just lining through so obviously this is going to go in on an angle so it might be a little bit tricky so like that and we're going to line it through and do the same on this side like that. and then we're going to do one in the middle Like so. We've got some lovely long screws that I took out of an old raised bed recently. So. so there we have it, one welly jack. That is going to be perfect for helping me get my wellies off during the winter. And there we go guys, this is two projects that I've done super quick, super simple, but they are going to be a game changer for you. So no more muddy floors. So the boot rack here is going to be absolutely perfect. So once this is dried, I'm going to give it a really good sand down. And the same with the welly jack, I'm going to give that a sand down, I'm going to give it a paint and these are going to be looking beautiful. Thank you for watching everyone.